Good morning, Hindu News Paper Analysis, 18th November 2022. First article talks about Supreme Court agrees to list plea for Coliseum system review. It is well noted fact that Coliseum was a non-constitutional mechanism. The original constitution talks about appointment of judges in part 5 of Indian constitution in the article 124 clause 2. However, this mechanism was changed substantially during the time. In S.P. Gupta case, the change was began in 1981. Later, in the Advocates of Record Association 1993, Supreme Court brought the idea of Coliseum. However, the Coliseum structure may be changed in the later period. However, still we have Coliseum system. There are several arguments against the Coliseum system saying that it is opaque, non-transparent and India is the only country considered to have a appointment of judges by the judges itself. However, government aims to change this mechanism with the 99th amendment. They brought NJAC. However, this was struck down by, government, uh, by Supreme Court in 2015 infamously called as fourth judges case. The main reason to struck down the 19th amendment was it violates the independence of the judiciary which is the basics which comes under basic structure under case on the birth judgment. Finally today we got another article talking about Supreme Court list to plea for Coliseum system review. Let us wait and watch for the next developments. Next Center seeks to review of Supreme Court order freeing Raju case convicts. It is well known fact that in our Indian constitution we have judicial review. Article 13, 136, 137 talks about judicial review in a direct or indirect manner. However, Article 137 categorically mentioned that the review petitions can be filed against the Supreme Court judgments. Under this center today applied for review petition. Let us wait and watch for the next developments in this regarding. Next article talks about next article talks about opaque political financing could cost democracy dear. This article highlights the use of electoral bonds and their impacts. We are all well aware that electoral bonds is a concept brought by 2017 finance bill which stated that the political parties which secured not less than 1% votes polled in the last general election to the House of People or Legislative Assembly are eligible to receive the electoral bonds. For these electoral bonds, Government of India chose State Bank of India. They will sell the they will conduct sale of electoral bonds for 15 days in different months, particularly January, April, July, October. And uh, political parties, I mean, the donors who want to buy these electoral bonds can go to the bank and he, he has to produce the KYC, know your customer, and then he can buy the bonds. And uh, these bonds will have an account number of the party and they will deposit in the same designated account also. And uh, these bonds are in denominations of 1000, 10,000, 1 lakh, 10 lakhs and 1 crore. What is further interesting is this electoral bonds should be encased within the within the specified time. Within a specified time, they have to encash it. This is what the background is about. However, we need to understand one important thing here. That is, the details about donors is not transparent. That is a, one of the ma major argument against these electoral bonds. Further. Before this electoral bonds introduction, there was a limit on corporate funding. Only the corporates which are because earlier the donations are a corporate company which can donate only 7.5% of an average 3 years net profits as per the section 182 of Companies Act. However, this section 182 which limits the donation only up to 7.5% of their average 3 years profit was eliminated from this um, uh, finance bill 2017 and now they can donate an amount to the political parties. 
Further, Section 29A of Representative, Representation of People's Act 1951 clearly mentioned that the accounts, the accounts can be verified by Election Commission of India. And uh, this was done. However, the Election Commission of India unable to get the clear details about the funders or uh, donors. Same time, political parties usually works in India in three domains. Institutions, organization and ideological basis. However, electoral balls completely distracted these three bases. Because institutions like ECI is not able to count, control the funding. Organizations previously they used to work for the representation and also response to behavior usually expected from the political parties. Now it is also missing. Further, the ideological factors also slowly and gradually moving away because of political funding. It is highlighted by Association of Democratic Reforms, an NGO working for electoral, electoral reforms. It mentioned that 52% of funding mostly going for the ruling parties. And they also mentioned that in 2019, 75% of total electoral bonds amount went to the central parties. It is also mentioned in Right to, right to Information Act Central party is getting huge amount, at least 80% of amount was went to the central parties. So electoral bond, electoral bonds severely hampering the chances of regional parties. Further, other quoted a book written by Mr. Vaishnav and Devensh Kapoor, Cost of Democracy, Public Political Finance in, in, in India. They highlighted that the tightening of political funding or the regulation of political funding can be evident during the Indira Gandhi tenure itself. She intentionally want to hamper the political funding of regional parties at that time. But today, the situation is completely different. Today, it's the central government policies like GST and demonetization severely hampered the growth of small and medium enterprises which are traditionally uh, funders or don donors to the regional parties and also regional leaders within the central parties. Like Likewise, we witnessed that change in this political funding completely because more centralization of funds through these electoral bonds is happening and that is hampering the internal structure of the political party and even internal democracy of the political party. These are the well arguments we can uh, understand and it is uh, helpful in writing counter arguments against the electoral bonds also. Next article next article talks about Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anyojana. It is well noted fact that Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Anyojana, even World Bank and IMF in different papers prized this policy because of its because of its core element of helping the poor people in getting food grains. However, other other Raises some concerns. Number one is diversion of these food grains through PDS system to the illegal markets. And then some families are getting more than 50 kgs rice. And this is also huge, huge rice through subsidies. And also they highlighted that need to change the rules and regulations. And also we need to go beyond this National Food Security Act. That is it is limited to only certain regions like 74% to the urban areas. We need to go beyond it as per the other's observation. Quite useful in writing good answers in um, food security article uh, topics. Next, government to hold offset on Andaman as it prepares for G20 presidency. Not very much important article. In 1998, we have the establishment of G20 after the meeting of finance, uh, finance ministers and uh, central bank heads later in 2000 after 2008 financial crisis we witnessed g20 at the head of the states this year we witnessed the end of the g20 meetings in uh, andama in uh, indonesia and next year india going to conduct these meetings you know there are some specific people called as sherpas sherpas these sherpas are the uh, friend friendships i mean sherpas the original meaning is in nepali language friends so these Sherpas will do regular meetings about the follow-up meetings, how to connect the meetings, what are the agents of the meetings, agents, agenda and also rules and regulations and all other important advices regarding the meetings. We generally see the Sherpas in G20, SCOs and other important uh, 
organizations also here from india this time amitabh kant became the sherpa of g20 meeting and you have source sherpa abhinay thakur also so they decided to conduct offset g20 meeting in andamar andaman nicobar later they want to decide the policies and regulations and rules of this g20 meeting in next year next article talks about ec may may be honest but how to definite political leanings it was observation given by supreme court justice and he recalled the person the famous person in indian electoral reform that is tn session one must aware about tn session very important in leadership in ethics and also important personality for motivation for civil servants he introduced electoral id cards with the photos and he initiated number of a uh, number of measures to clean the politics he is very important disciplined person in his conduct and also he uh, put forward the strict implementation of moral code of conduct and electoral rules laws and moral code of conduct and uh, enforcing limits on poll expenses elimination of mal practices like distribution of liquor freebies and also gifts and also he banned wall writing i mean writing on the wall paper and also use of loud speaker and religion in electoral speeches finally he also received raman megasese award for his emergent leadership also quite important personality and read the article for the rest of the things next article talks about cop 27 india opposes draft on agriculture let us wait and see because uh, cop 27 meeting is going on and um, Further outcomes will come. I will just uh, revise uh, COP twenty seven outcomes in a video. Similarly, I am also intention to do G twenty outcomes also separate video. Let us wait and watch for uh, some days and read the article for having an update. Next article, FM ask NIIF to guide private capital into infrastructure. Infrastructure is one of the most important element for all the governments and all the states. It is well known fact that. Uh, in ancient history we have uttara pada a road to connect and grand tank road by sir shah suri dalhousie who gave a high, higher importance to telegraph post railways roads similarly any country to develop its to develop its economy infrastructure is need of the hour so for that we have a dedicated fund called as infrastructure national investment and infrastructure fund and this was created in the year 2015 <clears throat> in the year 2015 to create a uh, fund was maximized to impact the infrastructure creation particularly in in greenfield and brownfield i mean greenfield means new in new infrastructure brownfield means already existed infrastructure and this was a well intentioned step in creating in creating an stimulus to the infrastructure in india so right now government asked this uh, Uh, private uh, infrastructure funds to help the private private companies let us uh, read the article just read the article you'll get the more awareness next moscow format calls minority rights political reconciliation in afghanistan next article moscow format calls for minority rights political reconciliation in afghanistan this is well known fact that in 2017 moscow i mean russia uh, led the led the regional countries to work for the peace and progress in afghanistan in 2017 almost six countries like russia afghanistan china pakistan iran and india and uh, they expanded to few more countries right now it includes even turkey also all these countries all these countries started to work on peace and reconciliation in afghanistan earlier it is not there it was called as extended trioquia in which russia united states and china and pakistan used to meet but now it is extended to the other countries also now they decided to meet and they came for the conclusion that minority rights should be protected in afghanistan nothing will happen only discussion is important next cv anand bose appointed governor of west bengal in our constitution part part 6 of indian constitution talks about state ex, state uh, executive legislature and uh, under the state executive article 153 to 162 comes under governor role and, and his uh, importance 
He is the constitutional head of the state and he used to work on the aid and advice of council minister which is one of the most important controversial issue right now. So 153 talks about there shall be a governor on every state uh, for every state and he will be appointed he can be appointed for one or two states also. He has the dual capacity one is he is the representation of con representation of state and also state executive and also head of the state constitutional head of the state. And uh, the eligibility criteria is he must be citizen of India he should have 35 years age he should not be member of either house of parliament or even legislator and uh, there should be no office of profit normally he has 5 years but uh, as per the cons uh, constitution he has the pleasure of the president there are number of issues we can have a separate discussion on it also but re just revise this constitutional aspects on governor and uh, it is must be noted that there is no elimination or you can say removal or impeachment of governor position. That's all for today. Thank you so much and Jai Hind.